Hi everybody, welcome back to Charmed Intuition Tarot. So for today's video, I am super excited. We're doing the December forecast and I love doing these monthly readings, you guys. I especially love when you go back to the videos and let me know what did and didn't happen. I think that's super cool. And today we have four different piles and you guys, tons of cards popped out when I was shuffling, especially for a few of the groups, like cards just kept flying out. So I took them all because I feel like the end of the year, we're gonna sort of finish with a lot of different messages and I think they're all important. So I took everything that popped out. So some different piles have uneven numbers, but I just sort of took whatever popped out and we'll have to see what, what uh, comes up. I also have this little bag with little wrapped tarot cards in them. And I'm sort of looking at this, I thought it would be fun to do like a gift from the universe for your new year. So this is sort of gonna be from the universe, how you're gonna start your year. All right, so I'll sort of dispense those in each reading. So we've got four piles and we also have the charms. I'm going to be using the crochet hook today to point out charms. A lot of people have requested this. And I also have the focus palm too. So this is going to be what to focus on during your month. So whichever charms land in here is going to be what to focus on. So we have four piles. We've got the little, little gingerbread man. We have the truck with the tree. We have the little mini Santa. I'm not going to pick him up because he's being held up with a candy cane. So... And we have this little miniature elf. So whichever one is catching your eye, you can choose a pile, you can choose a number, take your time. And I've got my tea, my Tim Hortons peppermint tea. If you're Canadian, let me know if you like that tea. Actually, I'd be curious to know if anyone, if you guys in the States, if you live in the States or wherever you live, if you guys also have Tim Hortons, because Tim Hortons is sort of like... I guess I would compare it to like Dunkin' Donuts in the States, so it's really big here. And I love their peppermint tea. So yeah, take your time, you know, no rush. You can pause the video if you need to and pick your pile. And again, guys, this could cover love, career, finance, pretty much anything. We'll have to see what comes up. And I have extra ducks if we need to shuffle for clarification as well. Okay, and we'll get started with number one. Okay, pile one, if you chose the little gingerbread man, this is your message, your December forecast. Let's see what you have in store for your December. So lots of cards, like I said, lots to go through today. So we have Flamingo Spirit, Embrace the In-Between. And we'll do the charms at the end and really just sort of take our time today, guys. We've got Happiness. We have Motivation. For your tarot cards, you guys got three. You have... The Fool card, Two of Swords, and Four of Pentacles. Okay, for your Vintage Wisdom, you have Freedom. Romance Angels, you have Love Yourself First. By the Book. Meditation for Creativity. Speak Your Mind. Weight, reflection, and passion. Okay, so lots of cards here, lots to go through. Let's see what we have. All right, so for your December, I see you sort of having an empowering month. And mostly to do with career or something you're passionate about, a hobby of some kind, or something maybe like a creative endeavor, or something that you've been wanting to do. Just here because of this creativity like meditation for creativity I think you guys are going to be sort of like on the ball this month and I think it's going to sort of come from a place where you guys are almost in the sense like getting a head start on your new year's resolution I think that's sort of the vibe I'm getting here embrace the in-between so I love this card the flamingo number one is just sort of a it just reminds me of confidence but I'm getting a lot of just a feeling of like motivation here. Especially we have the motivation card itself. We've got the happiness card. So I feel like it could have come from a place of feeling like things weren't moving, especially with the four of pentacles. The four of pentacles actually and the two of swords can sort of have a feeling of being kind of stuck or feeling like there's no movement, almost like, um, what's the word? Like a stale, like you, you're not moving forward. So it could be that you've been in denial about something, about something that you need to do or putting something off perhaps. Like, is there something that you've been wanting to do all year, all of 2019 and you've been putting it off perhaps? Like something like that. And this just sort of gives me a vibe of just sort of taking a step moving forward. I also feel like whatever this is, is something you're rather emotional about. This, this 
Pentacles has a lot of water energy in it. And as does this swords card, like with the mermaid. And she's holding this shell to her heart. It's almost making me think about like listening to what it is that you want. So I feel like there's something that you've been wanting all year, all of 2019, and you're, you're ready to make 2020 your year to get it. I am sort of just getting with this motivation card too. And actually the fool too. The fool always reminds me of just going for it. It's like optimism, making your dreams come true. It's really just a go, go get it card. It can be about taking a chance. I feel like a lot of you might want to give something new a chance in December, a new opportunity. It could mean that there's a new opportunity entirely that you, you're not even aware of yet coming to you this December. So that's pretty cool. And then motivation, like I said, I just, I feel like you're going to be super motivated. And this, it says here, motivation kindles the passion and energy needed in working towards your goals. And I think you did. You had the passion card. So it says, sorry guys, a magnetic and seductive quality surround you at present. Enjoy it. So at first I thought this might have to do with love, but I actually just sort of think it has to do with the energy that you're going to be putting out this December. Just sort of like, I'm getting like queen of, queen of wands, king of wands type vibe here. Just very motivated, very like go get it, make it happen. And that's why I think you're almost going to get a head start on your New Year's resolution like this December, it's going to be like a good start. So that way you're right out of the gate in 2020, you've already got a start on your new year's resolution, which is super cool. So let's see what else we have here, guys. I'm not getting much in the way of like romantic love or anything like that. I actually think that this December, you're your main priority, like everything that you want, your goals, your passions is your main priority. But I think that's actually going to make you quite attractive to other people. And like I said, creatively, I think you're on the ball. Creative ideas, creative just mindset and really cool ideas that you're going to make happen in the year 2020. And I love this. This reminds me of like a vision board. Like you sort of just like, yep, yeah, this is what's going to happen. So I'm actually going to link my vision board video down below. And you can watch that, how to make a vision board, because that's sort of the vibe that was giving me. Very cool, love that. So we have love yourself first sort of supports what I was thinking too. It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So even though I don't think romance is at the forefront of your mind necessarily, I mean, it could be this month. I think this month is really gonna be focused around what you want, what it is that you want, your goals, your 2020 goals, your career goals, uh, financial goals perhaps. I think this year is really gonna be um, the way you finish it, it's going to be a, an amazing start to your next year. It's just going to, it's going to motivate you. I, I really see a lot of power in your, in your next year, in the year 2020. I see a lot of motivation, power, strength, um, speed, momentum is sort of the feeling I'm getting. And I think that's because you're putting yourself first. Perhaps in the year 2019, you weren't able to do that. Maybe you had somebody else to care for or maybe you just chose not to care for yourself in certain ways that you really needed to and now this December I think it's just urging you to to get that going get that momentum of whatever it is that you want to accomplish next year all right so like I said with with the love I'm not getting much um there we can shuffle some more cards here but we've got wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course and reflection. So give each other some space at the moment, trust and have faith that it'll all work out for the best. So with these two cards, they have sort of a similar vibe, actually. And I think it could be so for some of you, there could be someone you're interested in, and you're just sort of, maybe you're tired of the chase. And you're just going to focus on yourself. It could be that you're in a relationship and you're, you're, you've decided to put yourself first, you've decided to go after what you want. And I'm just sort of getting a, a feeling of this December, you're not as focused on like romance or, you know, love and all of that. I think you're really focused on yourself, your creative ideas. Like I said, I think you guys have an amazing idea for 2020 and that's sort of being going to consume your, your December. So I think the cards could be urging you to do that as well. So if there is someone you're interested in, it's just telling you to sort of wait, wait it out just for this month. So this is a December reading. So this isn't a forever thing. It's just saying right now, maybe wait it out, give it a little bit of time um, to reflect. 
And right now it could be space that you need. Maybe it's more so for you because you need a little bit of space. Okay. And freedom, actually, that would make sense too with this freedom card. So this is just making me think of like freedom to be yourself, freedom to go after what you want, a feeling of, you know what, I'm, I'm, visual, I'm visualizing a horse running through a field for some reason. So momentum, um, even though we didn't get a horse card, we got a flamingo, I'm seeing a horse for some reason. So it just makes me think of freedom and momentum and speed and just like that feeling of I'm going to have what I want. I'm going to go for what I want. You know, I'm going to make this next year the best year yet. And that's what I'm seeing. A lot of you perhaps could be getting out of a relationship. Maybe that's why we have that weight card or reflection card. Maybe the cards, I think just in general, the cards are wanting you to focus on yourself. It's interesting that we have the speak your mind card. I think for a lot of you, there's something that you might want to say this December. This December, you might have an opportunity to speak up for yourself or say something that you've been really wanting to say to someone. But I see this card as a productive conversation. They're not arguing. They seem pretty mellow. So I think it's just going to be a productive month for you. I think you're going to be able to stand up for yourself, speak your mind, say what you mean, and kind of be, you know, put your, putting yourself first is the vibe that I'm getting really, really strongly here. So happiness, it says, if happiness is what you want, then happy you shall be. And this card, when I first read it, when I got this deck, I thought, well, that's, you know, it's not that easy. It's not that easy to just turn happiness on. But what I think this card means is that we're in control of our own happiness. No one's going to provide it for us. Really, we have to we have to take the steps to make ourselves happy. It doesn't mean that every single day is going to be happy. You know, the year 2019, I guarantee not every single day was happy. But when you do what you can and you, you try to do things to make yourself happy and you sort of put your happiness in your own hands, not someone else's, that's really what's going to what's going to make you happy overall. And I think that's sort of what the cards are saying. Like, even if you're in a relationship, even if you're interested in someone, your happiness is completely up to you. You have all of these capabilities and potential and so much. I, I just feel a general feeling of abundance on its way for you, group one. And I think the cards are just wanting you to feel that too. I think they're wanting you to feel that independence and that strength, that inner strength, that independent feeling. Like, you know, you can still be happy with somebody. So if you're still interested in someone or you've got someone on your mind, even though this reading isn't focusing on them, it's it's wanting you to love yourself first. Just like that card said, focus on your own happiness. So I really like the way these cards are connecting so far. All right, we've got by the book and embrace the in-between. So like I said, with Flamingo, I'm just getting sort of like, be proud of yourself, be unique, be yourself. The little words here, it says embrace the in-between. This could mean to like be sort of like I was saying, like I feel like you're getting a head start on the year 2020. So it's almost like embracing. I think a lot of you have a goal and you're, you're not there yet, but you, you want to feel that momentum. You want to feel like you're almost there. And I think that this card's just saying like embrace this time. Like embrace this time in between you actually reaching your goal. I love it. Love, love, love. I love this card. Sorry. Okay, and we got by the book. So by the book, this just makes me think of structure. It makes me think of, of routine. So this card could just be urging you this December to find a routine. So whatever it is that your New Year's resolution is, you know, chances are routine is going to get you there. So if it's getting a new job, some sort of routine could help you get it. Um, if you're wanting to start a business, a routine of working every day, you know, getting up in the morning and taking those steps towards making it happen. If you have a physical goal, like a fitness goal, you know, making a point to exercise a half hour every day. So this is just making me think of routine and structure and, you know, yeah, it's almost like, and I'm getting sort of a follow the leader vibe here just because of the way this is. I'm thinking sort of like maybe there's someone that might inspire you this December or somebody you can research and look up to that could help you get to your goal. Sort of what I'm feeling here. So let's do your charms and we'll open up your gift for 2020. I'm super excited. So we've got the little focus palm here and whatever lands in here is what you should focus on this December. We've got our little pointer 
Oh my gosh, sorry guys, that was loud. Crochet hook, let's see. Group one, December. All right, I will raise it up for you guys. And we will open your gift just because I'm excited to see what you guys got. Where did that go? Okay, oh, my tea bag is falling out. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I don't want to knock this over. Sorry guys, okay. So let's open your gift. I'm going to give you guys this one. So I'm seeing in the Focus Palm, you guys have the gumball machine. The gumball machine to me makes me think of win-win situation. I always think of the fact like when I was little and I would go to the gumball machine, I'd always want like red. And even if I got another color, it was still delicious. It was still win-win. So I feel like it could be saying there could be something that you're going after. You might get something different, but you're going to love it just as like as equal. Um, so that's really cool. Time is making me think of Embrace the In-Between card that you got. So it's just saying that whatever this goal is, could take a little bit of time, but you're on your way. You're going to get there. As far as letters, we have E and O. Those letters might be significant to you. They might not. Let's get your gift open because I'm excited to see what you guys have. I also don't want to rip the tarot card in, inside, so I'm trying to be careful here. All right, so you have the chariot. So your gift for 2020, something to focus on, is the chariot. The chariot is interesting. I always think of being in the driver's seat, so that actually fits in well with your reading. But I also think of two opposing sides meeting towards a common goal. So it could mean that... You're going to need to sort of tie all of your life in together to make this goal happen. I hope that makes sense what I'm trying to say. Um, it could mean problem solving as well, but really I'm just sort of getting a vibe of you're in the driver's seat, you know, whatever direction you choose, as long as you make a decision and go for it, you can make it happen. You just got to sort of have that momentum. And interesting that I was thinking of a horse because we have the chariot and this picture has horse on it. So that is super cool too. So as far as charms, we have the moon. So you could be a Pisces. We don't have really much in the way of other signs here. I love an old fashioned romance came up and it's interesting because I said I we didn't really get much for romance. So it could mean that you're waiting for a connection that is really worthwhile and something like you can really be happy with. So maybe that's why you're focusing on yourself right now. You're trying to get yourself in a good place, feeling good, so that you're more open to a relationship and in a better place. And even if you are in a relationship now, it could mean that maybe you're trying to spark up a more romantic or just sort of find that spark again in your connection. We also have the camera here. So photography might be pretty significant to a lot of you this December. And it could also just mean, you know, make as many memories as you can this December. Um, the camera is also making me think of that vision board that I mentioned. So I think for a lot of you, it's almost just to me reiterating the fact that a vision board might be a really cool thing for you to do. Because like I said, I think you guys have really cool goals, a lot of ideas. And I think that 2020 is really going to be your year, group one. So I think that's super cool. We've got live here. And I think that's sort of what you're going to decide to do in the year 2020 is just live life, live life every single moment, you know, not project too much into the future, not dwell on the past so much. You just want to be in the moment, right? We have these smoky quartz. So that could mean a little bit of confusion or I, I'm really sort of getting the fact that Let's look at your tarot cards again. With that four of pentacles and that two of swords, I think you already had that period of confusion and decision making. I think now things are starting to become more clear, but not quite yet. I think maybe December you're going to be working through these decisions, right? Because we've got smoky cards, quartz, and then we've got the moon here as well. So I think you're going to still be working through some things December to make your new year sort of start off with a bang, like a really excellent year. Now we've got the door, okay, the closed door in December. So it could be that you're going to be starting the new year with a new project, a new idea, a new beginning of some kind, or a new opportunity. And the fact that it's closed, I feel like you're, you're ready to close the door on 2019. I think that you guys are ready for a new year, a new start, and a new chance to make things that you've been wanting to happen 
really happen. I think it's interesting that you have the will because the will is making me think of, yep, you're going to make it happen. I think you guys just know that it's going to happen. You're ready. I feel very strongly an energy right now of like, don't get in group one's way. You guys have a goal. You're going to make it happen, right? We have the friend and the anchor and they're pretty close together. So it could mean that you're going to get in touch with an old friend this month, or you could just sort of have a closer bond with a friend in December. You know, there's a good chance if you do celebrate Christmas or any sort of holiday that you will be around your friends. So it's just sort of, it seems to me, it's really wanting you to spend some time with people that you value. And that could be friendship, coworkers, just, it seems to be urging you to focus on people that you really enjoy being with. We also have the sunflowers. That's about optimism. That's about focusing on what makes us happy and motivated. If you feel like I just got sort of a message, don't share your New Year's resolution with too many people, okay guys? Keep it a little bit to yourself. Obviously, if there's a friend that you trust, feel free to do so. Um, but the cards and the charms seem to, or the charms more so right now, seem to be urging you to sort of keep it to yourself just a bit. Um, and that's only because people can make comments or just remarks, even in passing, without realizing that might sort of um, take a little bit of steam out of your engine. And with this chariot card, I don't want you to lose momentum because that's what I'm feeling is strong momentum. I think it's super cool that you guys got the chariot. I think it makes a lot of sense for what we're getting here. We also have the Rhodonite um, crystal, which reminds me of friendship. To me, this represents friendship. So friendship is strong this month, connecting with friends. Perhaps you'll be making a new friend this December. Friendship is very strong. And again, not getting so much about romance, but for a lot of you, I think you already have somebody in mind and that's why it's not really, I don't, I don't think it's stressing so much on them. I think you guys have already decided who it is that you want to be with, but right now the cards really want you to focus on what you want, making yourself feel the best that you possibly can. All right, we have the bobbin. The bobbin to me represents behind the scenes, work behind the scenes that nobody sees. And that's sort of why I made the point. I wouldn't tell too many people about your New Year's resolution, your goals. I saw a quote once that I thought was super cool. You know, it said, keep your goals private and crush them. Like, you know, just make it happen. Um, and again, it doesn't mean that people don't want to support you, but sometimes people might say things that take the motivation out, or they might say something out of jealousy or you know, they might feel bad that they're not feeling motivated. So I think you guys have some pretty cool goals for 2020. I would keep them as close to your heart as you possibly can. Unless, of course, you've got a friend or a family member that you know is going to support you 100%. All right, we've got the little bell here. I think something's going to get your attention this month. You might receive some sort of news or I'm not getting any negative vibes at all, but I think you're going to receive some sort of news this month um, concerning maybe somebody in your life, your friend or your family member. I don't think necessarily this has to do with you. If it does, I think it would have to do with whatever this goal is for 2020, this new door opening up. But I think you're going to receive some sort of news. And again, this isn't jarring news. This isn't any sort of like, it's not the lightning bolt type news. It's not like I have a whistle. It's not that news. It's just sort of a little bit of something that's going to get your attention. And I think it's going to be a good thing. Very cool. So group one, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I wish you guys the best of luck this month. I, I honestly think you guys are going to have a pretty productive and inspiring month. I think you guys should totally go after what you want. I am going to remember to link that video down below for the vision board because I think that would be amazing for you guys to do because I think 2020 is your year, group one, and I, and I wish you the best. I'm going to pray for you guys to make all of your dreams come true, all of your goals. I think I'm just getting so much wands energy from you guys, and I think you guys have a passion or a goal, and I, I know you can make it happen. So definitely do that. Don't let anyone stop you. Don't let any door get in your way. You guys can totally do this. Okay, see you next time. Hi, group two. So if you chose the truck with the tree, this is your December forecast. We'll put your truck over here. We'll look at your cards. Of course, we're going to do the charms, and we're going to take our time with the charms today as well. We also have your gift, which we'll get to in just a moment, your gift from the universe. But let's see what your cards are first. So you have the wasp spirit for your tarot cards oh yeah you guys had quite a few pop out you have 
the Temperance card. You have the Four of Cups. You have the Eight of Cups. And the Seven of Wands. For Witchlings, you have Energy and Prosperity. That's a nice card to get for December. All right, you have the Dreams card. Affirmation for growth. Give in to a passion. For your romance angels, you guys got two. You guys have trust and codependency. So we'll get into that. We've got chaos and conflict. Don't worry about this, guys. I'm going to explain what that means. Okay, we've got a secret admirer. That's cool. My beloved. And it says, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love, or ne love never claims. It simply allows and gives. All right, group two, let's see what's going on in your life in December. Okay, so as far as work, career, finance goes, I think you guys have it all together. Prosperity tells me I think you're just going to have a good month. Um, I don't see anything to worry about that way. It just says, know that you deserve all things wondrous and believe you can have them. So this could be about manifestation. So it could be a good month to practice manifestation. We didn't get much in the way of work. I might grab another deck just to shuffle because I'm getting a lot to do with relationships here, okay? And remember, this might not resonate with everybody, but I am getting a lot of relationship messages here. And this doesn't even necessarily have to be romantic relationships we'll sort of get into here. I do see, I mean, we've got the secret admirer card. So you might have somebody that has their eye on you. They really are interested in you. Uh, someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So somebody around you has feelings for you that they haven't really um, told you yet. So that's super cool. Uh, this one says, my beloved, Oh, this is, <laughs> though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So you're apart from this person. This is somebody that's probably not around you day to day, but they think about you quite a lot. So that is interesting. So somebody's quite uh, attracted to you. Now I'm going to go over this chaos and conflict card here because just the word can sometimes kind of catch people off guard, but really, if you look here, the pieces are being put back together. So I'm getting resolution here. All right. This could mean that this December, a conflict comes to an end. Okay. Something finally gets dealt with. Something gets finished. Something that has been bugging you perhaps is done. And that's good. That's a good way to to start 2020 is finishing off whatever this is. So I, I think too with the wasp here, because this just says sometimes life stings. So I think maybe you got stung, you got a little bit burnt, something happened that maybe you didn't, um, didn't love, okay? This could have been in a relationship, this could have been a family member. I just think in the year 2019, you, you had something happen that stung a little bit, okay? And this could have been, again, romantic or to do with family or just relationships in general. So I do see the pieces getting put back together. I see resolution. So that's really, that's a good thing. And it might mean, like I said, that this December, maybe there's a, you know, a chance to talk with somebody, a chance to put something behind you. It could be the fact that you make the choice to do this yourself just by sort of um, taking action. Could Because we have the Seven of Wands. Now the Seven of Wands... It could mean that you've been on the defense. Maybe you've been a little bit too defensive about something or on guard almost. But overall, I'm getting more of like a keep going and a getting control over the situation vibe with this. All right, I think that you're gonna get control over whatever's happening. This can be a standing up for your card, for your, <laughs> standing up for yourself card as well. So I think a lot of you are choosing to stand up for yourself. In an issue so it could be a relationship issue this could have to do with work too so you're gonna have to take what resonates remember guys these are general readings so the themes should fit in your life it'll just have to depend on what's happening because not everyone's going to be going through the same thing but overall december for you is a month where you stand up for yourself you got you know you get up and you're ready you're on guard um so it could be the fact that you've been very defensive and for some of you it could be the fact that you're ready to stand up for yourself. You're ready to deal with something and put an end to it. All right, so what else do we have here? 
I'm gonna finish sort of any cards that are connecting with relationships and we'll get more onto like work and finances. So we have Temperance, Four of Cups, and Eight of Cups. So let's focus on the cups here. This is our emotions and relationships. So this Four of Cups makes me think of like boredom. Um, you know, not being happy with something, being a little bit dissatisfied. So I think maybe a lot of you have been dissatisfied with the way a relationship has been going or something that's been happening and you're ready to move on. I see the Eight of Cups is all about moving on from something that's dissatisfying or unfulfilling. And it's also about really going after what you want. So I think for you, your December, you are ready to move on. You're ready to let something go. You're ready to take control of something um, and not feel like you're not going to be feeling any apathy. You're, you're ready to take control. You're ready to sort of take things into your own hands and move forward. This can also be an energy of going after what you want because you feel like you haven't gotten it yet. So I think that a lot of you, could it could be that a situation kind of fizzled. Um, something that you were looking forward to didn't really turn out the way you had hoped. And now you're ready to give it another try. You want something to work the way you wanted it. All right. So let's see here. Now, as far as your personal life, just day to day, we have the temperance card and the temperance card is all about balance and it can be about moderation. So this December, it could be urging you to, to, you know, have some moderation day to day. This could be something little like moderation in, you know, um, indulging, indulging in treats or, you know, drinks, things like that. Or it could be moderation, like maybe you're working too hard. Maybe you are spending too much time with one person and not enough with another person. This card is really just about blending and moderation. So that could be a suggestion for December, or it could mean that things will start blending and um, sort of combining better in December. So if you are having a relationship issue, it could mean that things sort of get dealt with in December and there's a little bit more harmony because this is a very harmonious card. It's just about sort of blending and a strong emotional aspect to it here with the water, right? With the temperance card. So I see something being um, dealt with even in this card. I think that's sort of your main theme for December is dealing with things, cleaning up almost in a sense 2019 so that your 2020 can start off the way you want to. Because I think you guys have really awesome things to look forward in 2020. You guys have a lot of goals, a lot of dreams. This... I love this. I love this combination with this, this beautiful card and this beautiful card given to a passion and dreams. I think you guys have something that you really want to do. This could be an idea for self-employment, something creative that you've been wanting to do, but there's something that you really, really want to do a direction that you want to take. And with that eight of cups, I think you guys are ready to move on and, and make that step, make that happen. So it's urging you to give into a passion, follow a dream, make something happen in, in your in your new year, okay? So that's really super cool. So it just means that December, you might be ready to put something sort of negative behind with that wasp card and really focus on what makes you happy. Focus on a dream or a passion or a goal. And with the butterflies here, there's strong transformational energy here. So I think you guys are going through a transformation. I think you guys... If I'm being honest, I'm getting a vibe of like, you're done with, you're done with something. You're like over something. Like something has just been really sort of weighing heavy on you and you want to be done with it. And you don't want to carry that into 2020. So energy says with limitless energy, you'll achieve more than you ever dreamed possible. So that sort of fits in with those other cards we were just looking at with the giving into the passion and the dreams card. I think you guys are going to have a newfound energy to make something happen. This is also making me think of protecting your energy from negativity. So like I said, I think you're, you're done with negativity. You're done with drama. You're done with something that's been sort of dragging you down. And you want to sort of, like, this is making me think of, like, fireball. Like, you're ready to just make 2020 an awesome year. Okay. So let there be closeness between you and give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. So there is a need to give space with somebody. This could be romantic. It could also just be in a relationship. What's sticking out at me here, and I haven't gotten it to yet, but it says addictions are affecting your romantic life. So for some of you, some sort of addiction or codependency is a factor in your love life. Now remember guys, addictions don't always mean like drugs or alcohol. Addictions can be 
you know, um, anything, gambling, shopping, uh, patterns of behavior. It can be really anything. We can, make, we can be addicted to anything. So it's just saying that there's some sort of addiction or codependent behavior that's a factor in your love life. So this could be what you're ready to let go of in 2019 or in 2020. You're ready to leave it in 2019. All right, so just take what resonates. This could have very specific meaning for just a few of you. All right, so the last three cards, and that's sort of why I'm thinking like there, there needs to be space with somebody in the in the month of December so that you guys have a fresh start in 2020. And that doesn't mean cutting them out altogether. It just needs to be space for you to sort of get some things figured out and dealt with. We have affirmation for growth. Love this because I love the image here of the seeds being planted. So there's, there's some sort of seed that you're planting this month that's going to help your next year be the best one yet. So you're ready to almost get your, your year started now in December. So you might be setting goals. I was telling the other group um, about vision boards. So vision boards might be something that you want to consider doing. I've linked that down below. So check that out if you want to see the vision board that I made. It's just sort of like a relaxing ASMR vision board. But the, the whole premise is setting your goals at the beginning of the year. And I'm telling you, guys, they work. They, they do work. Sometimes the universe might surprise us and switch a few things. I might go over my vision board and what did and didn't happen. But a lot of times the things that didn't happen on my vision board, something else happened related to that that I actually ended up enjoying more. So I think that you guys are planting seeds for the new year. You're planting seeds for your life and you guys are ready to see growth and abundance and prosperity too. So whatever this goal is could have to do with work or something that you want to do. Like I said with the give in to the passion card, I think you guys have an idea or something that you really want to go for. And then back to relationships, this trust card, it says the situation is calling for you to have faith. So whatever this was, whatever this sting, this burn, whatever this was, it's just asking you to have faith. It seems to me like the universe is going to iron this out for you. And December might be the month where that happens. So let's open your gift. Actually, let's look at your charms first. So just to remind you, we've got the focus palm here. So whatever lands in the focus palm is what you should probably focus on or what's going to be most noticeable this December. Okay. Okay, so this situation could have to do with an X because we've got the X here. We have the shell land over here, so I do think it's emotional. And the fact that the shell and the X landed out of the charm box tells me that it could relate to an emotional issue with an X, okay? So just take that into consideration. We've got a W in the focus, focus uh, ring, also a five. So um, we have the focus palm, I should say. We've got believe and a sunflower. So believe is almost like believe that this is going to get worked out. Believe that your year can be good. It's it's almost sort of calling for you to have faith in yourself and some self-esteem and just sort of believe in yourself. It's wanting you to have an optimistic, hopeful outlook for this month, for December and for the for next year. So this is all about optimism and looking forward to things. We have an S. We also have magic on top of the wings and the wing to me represents believing in yourself, trusting your own abilities. It could also mean that you have somebody around you, uh, maybe a passed on loved one or a spiritual energy that's around you protecting you. This is a very protective charm. I really like this one. So create. And like I said, with that given to the passion, I think you guys are ready to create maybe something, you know, creative, like literal create. But I think it could also just mean create a good year, create your life, create something that you want. So for sure, there's something happening with somebody in your life relationship wise. And again, this could be a family member or a friend, or it could be romantic, but I see that it's a complicated situation and this person hasn't forgotten about you. So this person thinks about you often and the candlestick being close by makes me think that there's going to be a light brought to it. That's why I think in December, there's going to be a resolution. Something's going to be dealt with. Something's going to be brought to light. But it's going to feel good. Like this isn't going to be something to stress out about. We didn't get any cards, you know, telling you to worry about anything. There's nothing to worry about. I think this is something that you've just been wanting to put behind you. And this month is going to be an opportunity to do that. 
we have the owl on top of the R and the F. So all of your letters, let's just put them together here because you guys are so good at finding words. I don't typically do that during the reading just because it takes, it takes me a long time. It's like being asked to read in front of the class. I'm seeing like a Fred vibe here. All right, so the owl, I think this is making me think of ideas, your mind, that swords energy, that's your thoughts. I think you guys are going to be doing a lot of thinking this month and a lot of reflection. We've got the bobbin. So this is work behind the scenes. The bobbin is all about things that you do behind the scenes that no one else sees that are going to pay off later or create something that you want to create. That's what a bobbin does. This is the part of the, you know, we always see the thread in the top of the sewing machine, but we don't see the bobbin. So this is like, this is things that you're doing now that are going to pay off later or things you're doing that you haven't told anyone. So that could be urging you as well to keep your goals private, keep your, keep your dreams and your goals private. So let's open your little gift here. I think I'm going to get you guys this one. This is your gift for the new year or your gift for December. I don't want to damage my tarot card, so I wrapped it very carefully. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, this is super cool for you guys. Wheel of Fortune is about a turn of events, um, you know, things changing, things shifting, a new cycle. Uh, it can be a new, a new stroke of luck as well. It's usually positive luck too. This is, a, it's a really cool card. It's about sort of a change in destiny, something changing. And I think that's a really cool card actually to get for a new year. That just means things are going to change. And I, Based on the cards you guys got, I think that's actually a good thing because I think that your 2019 might have had a few challenges. Obviously, every year has challenges and no year is perfect. Um, but I think 2019 with that sting card, maybe you had a relationship fallout. Maybe you had, you know, something stung this year. And I think it's just saying that this year something's going to turn, something's going to shift and there's something, a uh, new luck happening. So something's going to change. That's really cool here. Now the one charm I didn't address guys is this charm and this charm is all about friendship from friendship or kindness from somebody, uh, a gift. All right. Cause this was a gift to me. Somebody sent me that charm and it was so, made me so happy that I cried. So this charm represents friendship and kindness from somebody that you might not even know very well. So it's about a gift. So December, you mean there is a good chance if you celebrate Christmas or any sort of holiday that you will receive a gift. So that's just sort of confirmation. So group two, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I love you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing December. I hope whatever this is that gets dealt with, you can leave behind. I hope you can leave it in 2019 and start your year and have the best one yet. I'm wishing and praying for you guys all the time that you have an amazing year. Um, thank you guys for watching. Let me know down below in the comments if it does resonate. I love hearing your comments and we'll talk soon. Hi group three, if you chose the cute little Santa vintage ornament this is your message i love collecting vintage ornaments and different things like that i love the history and i found this in a thrift store or a vintage shop of some kind years ago and i just love it so if you picked that one that probably would have been the one i picked and we also that actually thing that's vintage too that's from avon i don't know if any of you know what avon is but that was from like the 80s or 90s and it just works from the heat from the candles it rotates so we're going to get into your charms at the end we're going to really take our time with that we're also going to open your gift. There's only two gifts left, so we'll have to see what you get for your gift for 2020. But first, let's look at your cards because group three, you guys got the most cards. Cards were flying out of here when I was shuffling. You guys got tons of these. Um, they just all fall out. You know what? I decided to take them. Um, a lot of times I'm very careful to shuffle and only get a few, but today I was a little bit more like free with it and they just flew out, so we're going to take them. So we're going to have to get into this now because we've got lots to cover for you guys for December. Love is all around. Well, that's, that's a nice place to start. So love is all around. You've got two vintage wisdoms. You have compassion and playfulness. So for your tarot cards, you guys got lots of tarot cards too. Oh yes. Okay. Okay. You guys are the, okay. You guys are this group. Now you guys got the tower, but don't panic because you also have the star and all of your other major arcana cards, this is positively aspected. And I know a lot of you might think, oh, okay, how's the tower positively aspected? And the reason I say that is because I noticed when this popped out, because I always notice when I'm shuffling, when the tower pops out. When it fell out, which I thought was super cool, it fell out with the star. So 
they follow it together and these two come one after the other. It comes the first is the tower and then the star right after. So it's almost like whatever this is gonna, ha whatever happens this month is very welcomed and it's gonna come with some sort of hope, okay? So, and I also wanna mention too, this tower card is very different than any tower card I've ever seen. It's not catastrophic. There's no, um, nobody upset. It's just a very, it's almost like an inevitable thing. And I think with all of the cards we have, playfulness, compassion, love, love is all around and strength, whatever this is, is something that you've been wanting to happen. It's, it, it could be an epiphany. It could be a realization, but we'll get into that. Um, I just wanted to say that because, you know, when people see the tower card, sometimes they might be like, oh, what's, what's that? So I just like to explain. Um, so we've got unrequ unrequited love, and this could be the one. So we'll have to see what that's about. Because you have two contrasting cards here. Okay, so for your lover's oracle, we have only time will tell. It says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. That's really cool. We've got go with the flow. Love this card. We have manifestation and protection. So you're protected. That's what it's saying here. And you can protect yourself. And then we had four or five of these cards popped out. So let's see. We've got the fork in the road. We have to the sea. Loyal heart. Observer. And soulmate. Okay. This group, <laughs> group three. My group threes are always so complex. You guys always have so much going on. So let's dive in. Why don't we start with your tarot cards? I hope you're relaxed. I hope you're just sitting and I hope you're cozy. Let's see what we have here. Okay. So I think for December, for you guys, something is f finishing. Something is finally done. Okay. And you guys are almost starting your 2020 a little bit early something there's a new beginning of some kind now this could be romantic I think a lot of you because of this unrequited love card you guys are finally having a realization and leaving somebody that you know isn't good for you behind because I'm thinking that there's somebody new available to you there's somebody interested in you and this person number one could be your soulmate all right and then is very loyal too. And this is making me think of the lover's card and the two of cups. Okay, actually more so the two of cups because the owl is almost, I'm almost thinking like intellectual match, reciprocal, you know, same kind of, same kind of vibe, same kind of energy. So you guys have somebody coming to you and it could be that you meet them in 2020. And by the way, if you're not interested in the love aspect, we'll get to more career-oriented stuff. But right now, it's really focusing on a relationship or an ending or completion of something. And I think it's coming in the form of a realization or an epiphany. This is something where you're like, okay, this is what I've been, I've been expecting this. I've been waiting for this. And I've been also, I'm ready to leave someone behind. I'm ready to let somebody go that I know isn't good for me. And I want to start 2020 waiting for somebody who's going to be loyal, who's going to be good for me. And this to the sea is cute too. Because this is just making me think of, especially the water aspect. This is emotions, right guys? So a new venture, a new relationship, a new start. And notice she's not looking back. Okay. So I think for me, I'm really strongly feeling like you guys are going to have a realization that somebody is no longer good for you and you want to leave them in 2019. Now, if you're with somebody, don't panic because it doesn't mean it's the person you're with. It could be somebody that always sticks in the back of your head. It could be an ex. It could be somebody that just bugged you. You guys are ready to leave somebody behind. Okay. Fork in the road too. I'm, I'm getting the vibe of like direction, going in a new direction, um, you know, starting something new, changing direction. Now, the tower can be unexpected, but I'm not getting that so much. This is a pretty sturdy uh, building here, and it, usually the tower is not very sturdy looking. This one is. This seems more expected to me. It still is big. It's a big thing, and it's something starting over and, and perhaps something that isn't very fun to deal with, but the fact that you have that star come out with it is the best. And the best thing to do, and I love that you guys got the hanged man card because the hanged man card is just letting things happen. This is the card of release, letting things happen, going with the flow, 
Uh, this is a card, can, it can be very much like taking a step back and just letting things happen. It is a, what's the word I'm trying to think of? It's on the tip of my tongue. Um, it's sort of just a vibe of like acceptance. Okay, this is what's going to happen. It's also a perspective card. This card is all about changing your perspective, seeing something differently. And that's what the tower card does. It's all about shifting our perspective. And I think you guys are going to have sort of like an epiphany that somebody isn't good for you. Somebody isn't giving you the love that you put out. All right. Having said that, we also have this handsome guy and I, and okay, this is just an energy guy. So this is a masculine energy. This is somebody who's mature. The king of cups is mature. They're in touch with their emotions, but they don't get overwhelmed by them. They are trusting and sturdy and just, um, one of my favorite kings, that's for sure, especially this guy. So if you're not interested in men, this has nothing to do with men or women. This is an energy, okay, guys? This is a masculine energy, which everyone has masculine and feminine energies. But this king of cups, I think, is symbolizing somebody that is coming into your life that is loyal. They have your, your, they have your best interest in heart. And that's why I'm sort of getting with that loyal heart card. This is the person, it's reciprocal. This could be the one it's saying. And I think you could either meet them this December or they're going to they're gonna notice you this December. It could also be that the universe is going to shift you in their direction this December. But something's happening this December to align you with this person. It's also reminding you that love is all around. This has a musical aspect to it as well. So maybe there's a particular song that uh, sticks in your head. You know, when you think of someone... But this is just reminding you, too, that there's, it's almost like a vibe of plenty of fish in the sea. And it's reminding you that there's, there's more opportunities for love, more than you could ever dream of. There's more people. There's people that will love you and treat you, treat you well. And again, if you're with someone, you know, just take what resonates. This doesn't mean that if you're with someone, you're going to, your relationship's going to end. Okay. Don't panic about that. You're going to know if this message is for you. You're going to know if you're in a happy relationship, this might not be the one for you. Um, or if you're in a happy relationship, maybe it's just meaning you need to let somebody from the past go once and for all. So we have protection and go with the flow and strength. I'm just seeing a lot of like personal messages here about strength and compassion here too. This is compassion for yourself and compassion for others. So it could be just reminding you this December to have some compassion for people, be sensitive to yourself and to others. I'm sort of just getting a straightforward message with that one. Observer is making me think that somebody might have their eye on you or you might have your eye on somebody that you're interested in. This could also be a goal, looking ahead and setting goals for the future, setting goals for 2020. I think that you guys could be being asked to sort of take a step back with that hanged man card too and figure out what it is that you want. Figure out what what kind of goals you want to set, make, you know, set some goals for, for the new year in your December. Like it, this card's interesting because he's got the telescope. He's looking at the moon and the moon can represent our dreams and our, our secrets. So it's almost like following your dreams or keeping your, your sights set on your dreams. And there's an egg here, which means potential and new beginnings. So I think you guys have a lot of new beginnings coming to you this December but something's got to be left behind for sure. So let's see what else we have. Playfulness is fun. I think you guys are going to have a fun month. This sort of lightens up the energy of the whole reading, even though you have that tower in there. Remember, you got that star too. So this really does lighten up the energy. I think all is well. You're going to have a fun month. You're going to have a happy month. You're going to have a month where you really want to focus on the people that you enjoy. This could mean that you're going to have a fun opportunity this December. Something's going to happen that's going to be very exciting and very lighthearted, something that you just enjoy. So this is really nice. So this card says, um, it says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. And this go with the flow card is nice too, because it's almost like that's exactly what she's doing. She's sort of just letting something go. She's, she's moved on from something. She's headed in a new direction. She's going with the flow. This reminds me too of the hangman card because the hangman card really is a card of going with the flow, letting things just sort of happen and seeing things differently. And she doesn't seem too concerned. You know, it's interesting that with this tower card, we have all of these other cards of like lightheartedness, happiness, release, uh, relief, and hope. 
So whatever this is, it's something you're ready to be done with. In fact, you're looking forward to be done, you know, done with it. I watched a video by who I love, um, Tara from Kittens, Weights, and Tarot. She did a video on welcoming the tower energy. And the tower card is something that people run from a lot. And she did a video which I loved. She's so inspiring. And it was just about inviting that tower energy because sometimes you just need something to change. Sometimes you just need a new start or you need to be done with something. You need, you need something to be shaken up. And I think that's sort of what this is. And I think you're ready for it. You're ready to go with the flow. And that's the best thing to do. This is the best advice for the, t for the tower card is the hanged man energy. It's the go with the flow. It's letting things just sort of happen because it's inevitable. And I think this is going to be such a good thing for you this December. And it's going to make your year, your 2020, just start off the best way possible. Okay, so just let's read that again because I think it's important. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and new possibilities. You guys have so many new opportunities and possibilities. I just got chills when I said that, so I know that it's true. I know something is coming for you. And, you know, focusing your energy on manifestation and protecting your energy could be maybe why these two cards are here. So it says, turn desires into reality by activating the power of manifestation. So December, manifestation is big. And this could come in the form, I've brought it up a few times in this reading already um, for another group, but the vision board idea is awesome. And I've actually linked that down below because it's almost like getting a jump start on your New Year's resolution this December. I think you guys are really ready to manifest and start something new and create something amazing for your for your next year. And I think you guys are sort of recognizing your own personal power as well, which is beautiful and amazing. And your own strength. Look at this. We've got the strength card. So this really is about your inner strength, your inner power. She reminds me of, the, of that, that girl from Game of Thrones. Very pretty. This is inner strength. This is, this is courage. Very cool. And only time will tell. So something... It's just saying give it some time, okay? Give something some time. Things will make a lot more sense very soon. And then protection, lastly, create a sacred space to keep uninvited energy out. So this is about protecting your energy. That's big for you guys. You guys want to embrace this playful energy, this go with the flow energy that is so beautiful and light and happy going into your new year. So protect your energy. If someone is bugging you, if someone is really making it hard for you, you know, maybe limit your time with them. Um, focus on people and, and family that do support you and make you feel strong. All right. So let's look at your charms and we'll open up your gift for your new year. And basically with this gift, I'm just going to sort of meditate on it for you guys, group three. And I'm going to hope that this happens for you. I'm, I'm sending this out to you, whatever this card has to say. Which one do you guys want? Let's do the tissue paper one because I like the sound. So I'm just trying to be extra careful too that I don't break my card or rip my card. Okay, how perfect. Six, of, this is cool. You guys have the six of swords. This literally is a card about moving on. This is a card about a new beginning, a new start, moving on from something that's challenging onto something that's easier. This literally is the perfect card for you guys, for this group. So you guys are already in the process of moving on. You guys are already ready to start something new and start your new year with a more positive note. And this is about leaving something challenging behind that might've been stressing you out. Remember, swords are all about our thoughts. So I really think that you guys are ready to leave something behind. You're ready for an ending of some kind. And again, I really think it's a lot to do with a relationship, but it could be a job. It could be something that's just been bugging you. It could be a venture that you decided you don't, you're not interested in. It's going to depend on the person watching. So it's going to be different for everyone. But let's look at your charms. I wanted to open up your gift first because I was excited. So I'm going to meditate. I'm sending that out to you guys. I want you guys to have an amazing year where you can move on and, and start fresh. Now, where did my crochet hook go? Oh, there it is. Okay. So let's, let's see your charms. December. All right, December. Okay, so right away, we've got the death charm. And death doesn't mean death, guys. Remember, this means transformation. This means new beginning. And that's what I was getting from your energy. All, like all of your cards. There's a new beginning. You're ready to let something be. Something that's been bugging you. Now, you also have the sun. So the sun here is all about... Um, 
it's the sun card essentially okay it's it's clarity it's new beginning it's happiness it's rejoicing it's confidence another transformation so you have two transformation charms okay so we have the star and you had the star card and the star charm so it's almost like just reminding you hey if you're worried about anything don't worry you've got that star this month you may have gotten, you know, the card about a change or something shifting, but you have two stars and that's just about hope, guys. So be hopeful. Let's look at your letters because this could be initials. It could also be initials of a location or something like that. So just take what resonates. We have an Aquarius charm here, guys. So it could be an air sign. Okay, we've got the jack-o'-lantern and this is about harvesting. It's also about protection. Okay, jack-o'-lanterns literally symbolize protection, which is interesting because you have protection here. So protection is big, protecting yourself, protecting your energy. Let's just sit him right here. The bobbin. This is about putting in work behind the scenes that people don't necessarily see to make something better. Okay, so this is doing something quietly that's going to improve your life. And people might not see what it is. So it's almost like keeping your goals private. Every single group so far has gotten the bobbin. We have the turtle. The turtle is about patience, slow and steady. It makes me think of the uh, treasure card and the Wisdom of the Oracle deck, which is the Treasure Island card. That means something's happening. Some, it's just slow and steady. It's reminding you to have patience. All right, here. Uh, purity. So something's going to be, again, cleansed this month. Something There's purification happening this month. Now we have the parrot, so it could be cautioning you to just sort of not repeat something that you hear. Um, be careful with your words is all it's saying, okay? So if you hear something that's insensitive or you think it might not be true, maybe the best thing is to just not repeat it. Um, that's kind of how gossip happens. You repeat something that someone says and before you know it, it starts, it just snowballs, okay? So with the parrot being there, it could be cautioning you to just sort of be, be sensitive to what you repeat. All right, we have the rocking horse. The rocking horse is sort of like making me think of like this back and forth energy. So I think this is something that you've been dealing with for quite some time. We also have the rose, which is making me think of Beauty and the Beast actually is what popped into my mind. The enchanted rose. So I think something, it, it you know what it's, what's cool about that is the enchanted rose is all about a curse, right? And the curse finally ending. Not I'm not saying you guys have any sort of curse. You don't. I'm just saying... It's that energy of something ending, something that you've been wanting to end is finally ending this month. And it's it's likely to deal with a relationship, but not in a bad way. Again, like I have to keep reiterating to you guys, this is something you've been wanting to happen. This is a new beginning either with somebody or letting something go, letting an ex go that's been hanging around in your head. Um, you know, really letting something go that you don't need anymore. We've got message in a bottle, which is super cool. So this month you could be receiving a message. We also had that sort of secret admirer energy with that with that good looking king. Where did he go? Where did I put him? This deck is like, I don't know. It's it's dreamy. I don't know where I put him. He's, he's around. I don't know where he went. Did you guys even, am I thinking of the other group here? I have to find that guys, I'm sorry. Sorry for the delay. Oh yeah, here he is. There he is. So it could be from him because you have that soulmate energy. You also had the loyal heart. So you could be receiving a message of love this month. We have, what else do we have here? We've got the wasp, wasp uh, charm. And that's like that life stings energy. So sometimes things sting. Sometimes things happen and you're like, ouch, why did that have to happen? But unfortunately, that's just part of life. You have the two death here. So there's some, again, that's not death, guys. That's new beginning. That's closing the door on something. That's a new beginning. And that's something uh, that you've been wanting to happen. We have the clear heart, which is to me honesty. It's about a confession of love or somebody being pure of heart and very open with you. And I think that is this guy. I think somebody has feelings for you and they're going to be honest about them this month. Right? So I think that's going to be a sort of like a message or a surprise of love for you and remember if you're not interested in men this doesn't mean necessarily a man this is just the energy okay this is the energy of this of this particular card which is a powerful energy more on the uh, masculine strong like archetypal energy but then also it has a sense of just like maturity being in touch with your emotions so very very cool 
and we have what else do we have here um it's super cute because you have the little sa sailboat here you also have the card to the sea which has got boat energy and you have go with the flow so to me that's just sort of punctuating the point you guys should just go with the flow this month take things as they come be flexible go with the flow um don't worry Okay, it's telling you not to worry about anything this month. Whatever happens this month is something you're you're welcoming and it's gonna it's gonna be as long as you approach it with a playful, light, go with the flow attitude, you're 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 good. Like I think this is a good month for you to set goals for 2020. I think you're gonna have a really cool month and I think you're gonna really be able to look forward to some new goals. I'm I'm really excited for you guys. Okay, we have the octopus, which is makes me think of being busy, having your hands in all sorts of different projects and ideas. So I think you guys are going to have a busy month for sure. I think you guys are going to have a lot, a lot to do. We also have the roller, the roller skate. That makes me think of feeling maybe a little bit uneasy, a little bit unbalanced. But you know, you're going to get the momentum. You're going to get the flow. We have M, which makes me think of manifestation. And I think you pulled the manifestation card you did. You guys are getting a lot of repeat messages. So manifestation is big for you this month. Act as if, okay? And what that means is speak as if it's already happened. If you want to find somebody that is a good relationship, say, you don't speak it. Speak it out loud. Put it on your vision board. If you want to get that job, speak as if it's already happened. Be confident, okay? You guys you guys have this. You guys are, are totally good. Now, the Book of Spells makes me think of the magician in tarot. And that really is just a message to you that you have what it takes. You have the recipe. You guys have all the tools you need. It's, it's in your head, okay? You guys have everything that you need to make your goals happen. You guys have, have and you're fully capable. And I believe in you, 100%. I freaking love you guys. And I, I know you guys can make whatever you want happen for your new year happen. So use your December to really make a point to leave any energy that isn't serving you behind. Okay. And look forward to your new year. Be excited. Um, set goals. You know, goals are really what keeps us motivated. So set a goal, you know, set, I like to do it in like increments of months. So like I'll set a goal for say April and I'll set one for July. And then, you know what I mean? And don't be hard on yourself if it doesn't happen exactly then. Just, it's good to have goals. It's good to have things to look forward to. Okay. So for each of you, that's going to be something different. But I think, you know, your gift from the universe is, is moving on to something better. And I wish that for you guys so much. I'm going to just send that out for you guys. I hope that you guys are able to leave something behind that you no longer need. It's telling you to have hope and be hopeful and excited and playful and go with the flow. And I think you guys are just going to have a really cool month. And I, and I wish the best for you. Thanks so much. Hi, group four. If you chose the cute little elf figurine, this is your message for December. Let's see what your month's going to be like. We're going to do the charms. We'll take our time with those. And you guys have the last gift in the bag. So we'll see what that is. We'll open that during your charm. So we'll just put your gift there. But let's look at your cards first. You guys also had a lot of cards pop out. Um, I think you guys might have had the most cards pop out. So we've got a big month for you guys. Lots happening. So we've got the turtle spirit. Slow and steady wins the race. We have centering. We have stay optimistic about your love life. We have passion. Oh, wow. Okay, you guys got lots of tarot cards. So we have the lover's card the sun, queen of wands, and four of swords. We have for your lover's oracle, you guys had a four pop out. So this is romantic. It says, I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So somebody loves you besides me. Okay. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So it's about accepting joy. We have lots of, wow, these are lots of messages. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. And it is important right now to take a step back, spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. That's a lot to unpack there. Okay, we've got imagine. We have gratitude and thanks. We have plant the seeds. You guys had four witchlings pop out. You had the most witchlings pop out. So you had imagination, 
you had love, inspiration, and finally opportunity. So group four, I have to say you guys have the most optimistic cards of the whole bunch, I would say. You guys, I think, are going to have a pretty mellow month. Um, and I say that just because the turtle energy, which came out first, slow and steady wins the race. I don't see anything um, huge happening, but that doesn't mean it's going to be boring. I see lots of really exciting things happening, but nothing like fast paced, nothing like crazy. I think you guys are going to have a pretty mellow month. And honestly, to me, that's what you want. That's a nice, that's a nice month. Um, so let's look at your witchlings first, actually. So a new opportunity. So there could be an opportunity, something relating to maybe your dreams because of the moon here. It says the world is full of opportunities waiting to be discovered. So this to me tells me a new opportunity is going to present itself this December as something maybe you can start, something that's going to happen. Um, imagination. It's almost like maybe this turtle is telling you to take your time because there's lots of like, You've got the sun, you've got inspiration, you've got queen of wands, which is really sort of like a enthusiastic go-getter type energy. So it's almost like the turtle's telling you to sort of like, don't worry, like mellow out. You've got a lot to look forward to. So just take your time and enjoy it. So imagination, love and inspiration. So let's cover love first. Now, love doesn't always mean romantic love. But I think because of this passion card, for some of you, it is, okay? There's something going to happen this month that's quite passionate. Um, a connection with somebody, somebody confessing their love. This dude looks like he's just sort of like telling her how he feels. <laughs> so allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So that could be something that's pretty prevalent this month in December for you guys. It's something to do with love or a connection. And we also have the lover's card, which would support that as well, okay? And this is like, this is passion. Unlike the two of cups, this is a little bit more passionate and fiery, okay? And you know what? <laughs> the uh, queen of wands too, and the sun actually, can talk about passionate love. <laughs> so for a lot of you, you're going to have a pretty passionate December. You know, that cold weather, you're going to be staying inside. That's all I can say, I guess. So that's cool. Now, for those of you that aren't, aren't interested in that, don't worry, because this has other meanings. This could also apply to something you're passionate about, a goal. Um, you know, the Queen of Wands is a entrepreneurial energy. She is creative. She is enthusiastic. She's confident. And you know what? The sun is all about confidence, too. And this is sort of like the energy of like, I love the Queen of Wands. Because she walks into a room and she doesn't care what anyone thinks. She is herself. She's not afraid to be herself. She's not afraid of what makes her unique. And that's, I think, what the cards are wanting you to do. The sun being here this month is sort of what tells me that your whole December is going to be good. A lot of the other groups had some a little bit of hurdles. Nothing major, but some hurdles. I think for you guys, it's just it seems quite mellow. Um, this is a card of clarity and, like I said, confidence. So I, it all seems pretty good. And when the sun card pops out in a reading, no matter what other cards are here, this is like a big shiny light. I also have to mention I have a very calm feeling right now. So that could be important to mention. We've got imagination and inspiration. These two are super cool because it's telling me that this month is going to be a creative month for you. Um, something's going to happen that's going to spark some sort of creativity, perhaps, or an idea or inspire you, which makes sense because the Queen of Wands is all about inspiration. This isn't a very, she's very inspired. Okay, so you're going to be inspired by something this December. Something's going to happen that's going to light a fire in you and then you're going to just be ready to start the new year with energy and creativity and excitement and positivity, which is really awesome. It says an inspired mind is willing to reach beyond limitations. So there's no limitations as far as you guys are concerned this December. You guys sort of have it under control. Now, stay optimistic about your love life. If when I read those cards about the passionate love affair, you were like, yeah, right. Because I get that a lot in the comments. You guys are like, but I'm single. You know what? Be open to it. Like there's something that could happen. Like there's, you could meet someone. Something could happen. You never know. Um, there could be somebody interested in you right now that you have no idea about. And yes, they can be interested in you. I always feel like you guys are thinking, no, they're not. But they are. You're a very interesting person. Of course they are. So just keep that in mind. And it's just urging you to have positive thoughts. Okay. So it says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. 
if you're thinking all the time, like, no, like, no, I'm not lovable or no one, don't think that. Like, be confident. Confidence to me is the most attractive thing on earth. When you're confident, like, just growing up, any, any guy I was interested in, any person I was interested in always was confident. That's just, it's something about confidence is huge. It doesn't matter what you do, how much money you make, what you look like. If you've got confidence, that is something and it's amazing. Just had to say that. Okay, so what else do we have here? Okay, this imagine, didn't you guys have, okay, you did. You had imagination and you also have imagine. So this to me is a card of manifestation. So it's just telling you December is a good time to go after your goals um, or just at least imagine what you want to create. Manifest, get ideas, um, you know, be inspired with the inspiration card too. So look up things that inspire you. Read books that inspire you. Read magazines that inspire you. Go on Pinterest, make an inspiring board. Um, follow people that inspire you. Motivational quote pages. Um, you know, maybe inspire other people. Just stick with people that make you feel inspired and happy and, you know, look forward. People that really want you to, you know, shoot for the shoot for the moon. And I love that quote, you know, that quote, I'm sure you've heard it. You know, shoot for the moon, even if you land amongst the stars. That's awesome. That's not the quote. I just made it not what it was, but the whole premise is shoot for the moon, you'll still land amongst the stars. I think that's <laughs> what the quote is. But it's just optimism. You guys have so much optimism and positivity. Now, interesting, because we've got the Four of Swords here, which is interesting because you've got the Turtle. So Four of Swords is about taking a rest, but I'm getting here more so for you guys. You guys have already had that rest. I think you guys have felt maybe a little bit... Uh, you guys haven't felt that sun energy and now the sun's coming out in your December and maybe it's going to give you guys energy. It's going to give you motivation. Like these cobwebs being here means that she's had a rest for a while. You know, some time has passed. She's ready to get inspired. This almost feels like the queen of wands before she woke up. Like this is her after her nap. You know what I mean? And this is you. This is you in December. It doesn't mean that you're, if you're a male watching this, this is just the energy. Remember that guys. So that's you in December. I've got these all mixed up and I've just got this feeling of like excitement for you guys. So centering, I think this just talks about focusing in on a goal. You guys are going to be very focused this December and the sun makes sense, you know, clarity, you know, optimism. So centering, I'm just thinking of centering in on what you want, focusing on yourself too. If you notice this person's right in the center of this. So she's focusing on herself. So it could be telling you that's what you need to do this December. Okay, let's get organized here, Liz. Okay, we've got plant the seeds. So to me, that makes sense with manifestation. Start something this December that's going to get your new year started right, okay? Um, plant a seed, have an idea. If there's something you've been wanting to do, this little cutie looks like almost like r recruit a friend, maybe even. Um, be inspired. I'm, I'm getting sort of like a feeling of needing to... Be around people that inspire you and have like-minded goals. So, you know, be around people that make you happy. If there's somebody that you can sort of talk to about a goal that you've been wanting to create, a buddy almost, um, but get something started. Plant a seed that's going to make your 2020 the best year yet. So I already went out of the love here. So again, for some of you, this could be self-love or something that you do love, an activity or a passion. But I think for a lot of you, Something passionate is going to happen this December. So enjoy, enjoy that. Um, we've got gratitude and thanks. So this is beautiful. And I love this card because it really is just about being thankful every single day for something. And we already had our Thanksgiving in Canada. But if you do celebrate Thanksgiving um, in the United States, it doesn't mean that you celebrate the holiday of Thanksgiving or anything like that. To me, what I take from Thanksgiving personally in my own life has nothing to do with the holiday that we know. I, I take it, I take the energy of thankfulness as something that can create abundance. Being thankful every day makes you happier. It reduces anxiety. So even if you're some, even if you feel like you have nothing to be thankful for that one day, find something. Okay, you could be something so tiny. I remember one day I was thankful because I went for a walk in the park and I, I saw a cute dog. And that day was kind of like a, a lousy day. So find something to be thankful for. 
And guys, even though I say this, it doesn't mean that every single day I'm chipper and happy, but I do my best and I do my best to be thankful. I do my best to be grateful. I'm very grateful for you right now watching this. I'm grateful that I, um, that I, I can walk. I'm grateful for that. I, that I have a home. I'm grateful for the people that I, that I have in my life. So find something to be grateful for. We all have one thing we can be grateful for. And when you find that thing, it just attracts more. And I promise you, if you start practicing thankfulness and gratitude, it attracts more. I, I promise there's something about that energy that is like a magnet to abundance. It's a magnet to more good things happening. The more we focus on negativity, drama, gossip, negative things, you know, bad, you know, negative news in, in the in the news or on, on social media, that seems to absorb in the rest of our life. If you focus on things that are light, things that you're thankful for, things that make you happy the best that you can, that's what you're going to attract. So remember, what you focus on is what you attract. I promise you this. This lovely lady seems to be focused on on her surroundings. She's focused. She's grateful. She's happy. She's calm. And I just love it. So I think that's what you need to focus on. Okay. So that's just sort of a reminder here. Okay. A message for you. So these are a lot of lovers cards. So first let's cover this one because I don't think I did. So I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So somebody's in love with you. Cool. Um, and I think that connects with that lover's card and that passionate card and all that. Um, so it says it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. And that makes sense with the cards we have. Give to yourself. Um, you know, give yourself a gift this year. Make yourself a priority in your life. That's important. The last two we've got, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So it seems to tell me that in December, you guys have a new path to follow. You have something to look forward to. And the last card before we do your charms, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You do deserve to feel joyful, okay? And it says, you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So that's sort of like what I was saying with that gratitude card. Everyone has challenges. Everyone has their own challenges that are challenging to them. And in their life, that's a big challenge. You can't compare your challenges to other people. So regardless of what's happening, regardless if you have a bad day, you know, focus on something good. Focus on one good thing, okay? And I promise you that will attract more. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you, you find yourself in. So again, we're in charge of our own happiness. No one is going to provide that for us. I spent a lot of time thinking that somebody would make my dreams come true. Somebody would come in and make my anxiety go away. Somebody would come in and, and you, it, it doesn't happen. You have to be in charge of your, you, you are your own best friend and you can make anything happen. Let's look at your charms for December. So remember guys, we have to focus palm. So whatever, fo you know, lands in here is what to focus on this December. Based on your cards, guys, I think you're going to have a pretty chill month. Like, you have that turtle. You had, like, a lot of, like, chill vibes. You had the sun. I think you guys are going to have a pretty relaxed, happy month. Let's see what the charms have to say. So we'll start with your focus palm. And perfect, we have the sloth. So this really, this is the energy of taking it easy. Like, he's relaxed. He doesn't seem that concerned. Sloth energy, I love it. I think it's adorable. So it's telling you to take it easy. Take a rest this month. Relax. Um, take a step back from something. Um, it is calling your attention with the whistle. It's like quick grabbing your attention. And it is on top of the fish bones. And the fish bones to me represents needing to let something go. Needing to throw something out. So let's throw that out now. You need to let something go. And it's reminding you to do that. You guys, every single group pulled the bobbin. This is crazy. So the bobbin represents putting something into action behind the scenes that nobody sees. On a sewing machine, a bobbin is the thing that we don't see. We see the thread on the top spinning, but we don't see the bobbin. And the bobbin does half the work as far as the thread goes. So this is about doing something that no one sees, keeping it secret, that's gonna be good for later, okay? Um, you know, setting a goal, putting a project in, in taking steps towards a project or a dream. And then we have the airplane. So something's going to take off this month. Um, 
that's about something soaring, progression, um, something exciting happening perhaps. So maybe that's why it's telling you to relax when you can because I think you have a lot of surprises happening. All right, so we didn't get anything as far as signs, so I think this could be a broad message for pretty much everyone. We have an end though, okay? So that could be an initial. We have a word, we've got travel. So with the plane being here and the travel, travel could be a big part of uh, your December. Maybe you're traveling to see family. You know, it, it could be pretty much anything. Um, traveling, even like, even like a day trip or something like that. Okay, we have the Three of Cups, so being around people that make you happy, um, your, your, your people, like really focusing on people that you can have fun with. That's also a celebration card, so you will have something to celebrate about this month. That's strongly what I'm feeling. We have a door, and that's sort of reminding me all of that energy of that person that's clearly in love with you, um, or somebody that's very feeling very passionately about you. We have a four, okay, and the four could be sort of just punctuating that four of swords that you guys had, so maybe it's time to find that motivation, it's time to be feel re-inspired. Where did that four of swords go? I'm pretty sure you guys had the four of swords. Yes, you did. So that could just sort of be reiterating that. Your inspiration, your intuition is going to be on point this month, very intuitive month. Uh, the teapot reminds me of tea with friends. Um, warmth, coziness. This is like uh, good chats with friends, good conversation, good company. So that's really nice to have. Snowflake makes sense for December. So maybe you live somewhere with snow. Maybe it's telling you to enjoy that. Sometimes the charms don't have big significant meanings. Sometimes it can have a personal meaning to you. Sometimes it can just have a nice light meaning like enjoy the snow. And I, I sort of read them as the message comes through. So if you see something that's significant to you, definitely feel free to read it. Um, we have the domino. So this is a new beginning. Um, so this month, it's just asking you to look at it as a new start. Every month is a new start. We have the home charm. This is like 10 of cups to me. So the 10 of cups is just about enjoying your family, enjoying the people that you love. We have another romance charm because this is like, this is to me like romance, like sticking inside with the person that you love, like like staying inside, like by a fire, like being cozy, watching a movie. So I think you guys are going to have a pretty cozy month. You guys seem to have an abundant month. You have the and, which makes me think of abundance, more growth, okay? Uh, you have the anchor. So that is almost like the turtle energy, isn't it? So slow and steady, just like... Maybe it's almost like this month, just, just have a nice chill month. A lot's going to be happening around you. Lots of opportunities. Go with the flow. Sort of take things as they come. Travel, though, is, seems to be big here. Book of Spells. This is similar to the Magician in Tarot, which means you have everything available to you. Anything that you want to create, you can make happen. You guys have the power. You guys have the strength. You also have the strength charm. The skeleton is about inner strength. So you guys have a lot of inner strength and a lot of personal power. The spoon. <laughs> the spoon is interesting. I'm getting sort of more of a vibe of like stir things up, make a change. Um, but then that almost contrasts the vibe we're getting with the turtle spirit. So you could have sort of two messages for two different people. Stir things up could mean um, sort of mix things up. Do something different this month. Um, try something new, okay? That's just the message I got when I saw the spoon. And then we've got this flower here. And this to me represents, well, actually, what came into my mind, what I pictured immediately was an image of like, he loves me, he loves me not. He loves me, he loves me not, like that flower. So I think that... For sure, this month is, is going to be a passionate month for a lot of you. It's going to be a, a, a relationship-heavy month. But remember, guys, if that's not resonating, if that if you feel like that particular message isn't for you, you it could be about anything. The, the bottom line is passion. I just think for a lot of you, that passion is going to come in the form of like literal passion, like a relationship. So very cool. We have to open up your gift, guys. So this is a gift from the universe for your new year, for December. And basically what happens, whatever this is, I'm going to meditate on and, and sort of wish into your life. I want, I want to really make it happen. Let's see what it is first, though, before I... Oh, beautiful. 
Awesome. Okay, so you have the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is a, a card about recognition. It's a celebration card. It's a card about being recognized or applauded. Um, somebody being proud of you. It's just really sort of like a celebration card and an achievement card. Okay, so it could mean that you're going to achieve something or somebody is just going to be super proud of you this month. Someone's going to recognize you. Um, this could come in the form of social media. This could just this, this could come out in the form of at work. Someone might say, hey, you know what? Good job. Like you've had a really good week. Um, basically, it's that energy. So someone's going to give you a pat on the back. People are going to be proud of you. People are going to look up to you. Um, it could come creatively because it's a wands card, but then with wands comes passion. So it could have to do with the relationship too, but basically you're going to be admired. People are going to applaud you and be very, very proud of you. So that's a really nice card to pull as a gift from the universe. It means they're going to, it's going to give you the gift of appreciation, which is everyone wants to feel appreciated. So I hope that happens for you. If this did resonate, guys, please let me know down below in the comments. I know this was a bit of a long reading, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I appreciate you guys so much and we'll talk soon. Thanks so much. Bye.